Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another glorious episode of Jedi Talk. I am your host, Brad Hughes. I am joined by the full council today. But before we get into all that and introduce the full council, please go over and follow us on Instagram at Jedi Talk Podcast over on Instagram and go to youtube.com slash Jedi Talk and hit subscribe for all that cool content, especially with something we're going to talk about today. You're going to want to see it uh, when I go for the first time in a long time, but we'll get to that in a minute. To my right, the man, the myth, the legend, Evan Touche. What is going on, brother? Hello there. I just saw Lightyear and loved most of it, except for the classic Pixar villain twist thing that they always do. Especially when it was one of my favorite villains that they twisted. So, aside from that, though, I love it. I want it. to talk about it because I don't really care to get spoiled on this one. There's this not much to spoil except the lame villain twist. All right, That's we'll, the only we'll spoiler, talk about it when so, we get it. Do you care yeah. about spoilers for Lightyear? I mean, I'm going to see it. No, I, I kind of saw something that something's big with Zerg, so yeah, go for it. I don't it care. Sucks. Right, we'll, we'll get oh, to it when we get okay. to the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to his right. The Red Rocket himself, Tom Oakley. What's going on, brother? By the right of the council, by the will of the force, at least call me by my trashy backyard wrestling name, Red Rapture. I like the Red <laughs> Rocket. But did it, it's like what a would South Kyle Park call thing. you when he's announcing wrestling? Oh, <laughs> Well, he can't be a wrestler because Ginger's not allowed to be a wrestler. So he fucked your mom. <laughs> right. Kyle, thank you for joining us. Uh, if if oh, wait, you I, listen I, I, to I all the Fourth Mother Box, like, he had a fucking fat cat going through his cabinets on that episode. Was he doing dishes? Somebody <laughs> in his house was. <laughs> and I told him on the episode, I said, dude, it sounds kind of weird back there. He's just like, oh, it sounds, sounds good to me. He's like locked in his own little world. Uh, it sounded like he was scrubbing dishes while he was doing the show. <laughs> It was the worst, the worst. It was bad, Louder louder than he was talking. Yeah. Was he standing next to the dishwasher? It's what it sounded like. All right, what are we talking about? I'll start. I'll start with the the one that pertains to me the most, speaking of gingerness. So there's a rumor. um, Brad actually saw a a YouTube video of it by, what's the name? Christian Harloff. He was on Collider Jedi Council. He's not some random YouTube dude. He does not just say stuff. He He is very reputable. This person has broke stuff. The person that has broke stuff to him in the past. Uh, and has been accurate every single time, except one time with Snoke. But that was actually no, actually that was Campy. I take it back. So everything that oh, that, Campia, that, that Harloff has said has come true. And he went on his YouTube show yesterday and just casually dropped the news that there is in production right now, not shooting, but in pro- in active production, a Cal Kestis live action series for Disney Plus. Now I'm oh. not going to ask Tom what he thinks. Mm-hmm. Because we not all know yet. what it is. I'll get to know. it. Yeah, I want to know. I'll but. get to it. Well, what I was going to say to back up that claim, the blogs or the pages are starting to report on it now, too. Yeah. Like and Disney you, hasn't taken it more down and more yet. of it. Mm-hmm. Which typically mm-hmm. means that it's not true, because usually when something like that comes out, they shut it down really quickly. But I think they right, believe this one to like spread the, that character name, because like, most fans know it, because a lot of people bought this game. But there's still fans that are like, I don't know Cal Kestis. But if they hear that name and say, oh, there's a new D- Disney Plus show, let me I, do some research. I don't know, man. I, th- I don't think you know how big that game was. No, I do. The I, fact, that, the fact that it won the lightsaber thing is I don't is think huge. Disney even knows. So I think when that's why they're leaving results, it out. When are we going to get those results, by the way? I think soon. This week? I actually think June soon. 10th. It was yeah, June 10th. I think 10th. it is soonish. I don't remember. It was June 10th. Okay. That okay. we were supposed to get our the results? July 10th. Okay. Wait, I was like, No, no, yeah. hang on. Let me look up that post. I, I feel like it was... Oh, my God. Maybe it was this week. No. It hasn't happened yet. So it's got to be I would have seen it. I would have seen that. But... Yeah, I mean, I am super excited. If this would have been announced like a year ago or two years ago, whenever they announced the next 10 Star Wars projects, this would have been number two for me. I know probably number one for Tom, but we'll see in a second. But number two for me behind Kenobi. So I'm now it's number one because Kenobi's finished. So I'm going to say I'm they so should excited. cast Cameron Monaghan. That's you know, a good be, call. They'd be spectacular. <laughs> I could see that working. Deborah Wilson it. would be a great seer. Yeah, and probably. whatever probably. Marin's actress was would be yeah. a great Marin. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, Tom, what do you think? Um, oh, of course I want this. <laughs> I'm, I'm Vote now through June 10th and stay tuned to the Disney Parks blog so where the, we announced the results this summer. The vote oh, okay. ended on June 10th. Could be, it could be so August. It, could be August. Yeah. It, it might be on August 29th, Batu's birthday. So No, they didn't do anything last year for it, so they won't That's do anything true. this year. You're right. They honestly won't do anything until the 5th. Because this year was the fifth year for Pandora, and that's when they had a bunch of merchandise. That's true. So I bet they'll wait for the fifth. Hey, everybody listening out there, and Brad, do you want to see how I could, how we could trigger Evan? Do we Disneyland <laughs> is the goat? That's not a trigger. It's <laughs> Disneyland gets everything. They do. I also wanted to check this Except article. Except for the Halcyon and the People Mover and Spaceship Earth, but that's all. Hey, look at this! Some positivity out of you on that. Yep, that's it. It was it was because of Kenobi. Today. Coming soon to oh. Doc Ondar. I just wanted to confirm that this Obi-Wan saber is coming to Doc Ondar's. Yes. 
Okay, I just couldn't remember if it said yes. it was or it wasn't. Because I read that article at least five times. Because, <laughs> like, am I going to struggle on Shop Disney in the morning, or am I just going to wait for it here? I'm going to wait. I hope it doesn't come in that long-ass box, though. That's a Shop Disney thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't want that box. I want, I want the that, good box. That's how my Mace and my uh, Anakin one came in. We also got to get that Ahsoka to finally come oh, in person. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I'm, I'm so glad I didn't drop while I was out of town. By the way, Same. I have two things. First off, today's, we're recording this on June 22nd. Today is my brother's birthday. And The Last Jedi is still canon. It is still canon. Uh, happy birthday to my brother, Matthew Clinton Hughes. He's my middle brother. But I was in North Carolina last week because my brother got married. I know I said that on the last show, I think. But yeah. congratulations to him and his new wife, Heather. His dishwasher. <laughs> oh, God. oh, my gosh. <laughs> Everybody gets these fucking hands, bro. Yep. Everybody gets these hands. <laughs> <laughs> My dishwasher's inside. That's the misogyny alarm. The misogyny horn. (laughs) This podcast is coming to you live from 1952. (laughs) Get back in the kitchen, see? (laughs) See? Oh my gosh. Just call me Ezra Miller. Ooh. Second one. There it is. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, what do you. I mean, obviously, you're excited, right? Of course. Is this this something you want, or do you want it to stay the video games? Um, I actually. I will accept this, but I need. Survivor to come out first, okay. B- before they even announce it, okay. Let 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 this rumor simmer for a while, and it'll it they'll they'll come back to it because I'm I'm pretty positive that at least Disney approached Cameron at least or whoever they want to direct this, produce this. That hey, let's let's get this going, and they're probably asking about availability, so that's how the rumor snuck out. But I need Survivor to to happen first because Cal's a better video game character to me right now. That's where his story lies, and that's what I because I. Cause I Cal's, you know, one of my favorite Jedi, so I want to play him. You know, I want to yeah. do the things that he has to do. Like it's, it's. Yeah. I, I, I need that first before I even consider like getting jazzed for a series. So it's two my, questions, two questions. Yeah. Who is your dream director for this series? And like the way, pick one because I know people do individual episodes, but like let's say it's a Deborah Chow type situation where she does, you know, she did all six of Kenobi. Who do you want? I mean, Zack Snyder. <laughs> it's the first person that came in my head. I mean, you know, I'm going to say him. Um, but Josh s- Whedon, <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would hate that. So what if they, were, what if they replaced <laughs> Cameron Monaghan with Ezra Miller? Oh no, please no. No, Disney would never do that. <laughs> They're never bringing back they Johnny. They Depp, would bring so. back Gina Carano before they do that. They, they have. <laughs> <laughs> who's your Who's your ideal for real? Is Snyder your yeah. go to? I'm I'm gonna say really? Zack Snyder. If not, I want Dave Filoni to take a crack at Cal. Dave Filoni would be yeah. interesting because if it's gonna be like a dark series where it like really goes into Maybe Cal fight with the dark side, or um, somebody's trying to make turn him into an Inquisitor. He gets trapped or something, which I think is actually going to happen in Survivor. I think I hope so. one of the Survivor stories are going to be Cal gets trapped by the Grand Inquisitor. And for those of you who ever ever played Metal Gear Solid, this is like you breaking out after being captured by um, Revolver Ocelot. So it's like you get caught. You have to work your way out of torture. That's like a level, or that's that's like a thing you have. That to sounds do. like a Jurassic World dinosaur. Revolver Ocelot? Yeah, yeah it does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Revolver Ocelot. We've, we've genetically engineered the scariest dinosaur. I would, uh, Snyder, Snyder Revolver Filoni. Revolver Acelorus Rex? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snyder, Snyder Filoni for me. Okay. So, what about you? Hmm. I only know like five directors. I, I have no <laughs> idea. I would want, I think it would be interesting for Ryan Johnson to take a crack at this. Oh, yeah, duh. Yeah. That'd be sick. I think it would be a cool, and you know what's funny? I'm wondering if that was what his trilogy was hmm because he said it was outside of the skywalker story and it was around it was in production around the time of fallen order well the fallen order is technically the skywalker saga he they looks define at, the skywalker saga as the nine movies like even rogue one's not part of the skywalker really saga. it's it's not yeah. okay yeah right. that's what they define not as just the because it takes saga. place during that time period doesn't make it that saga it's what's fo- it's the characters they're focusing on yeah that's how that's how that lucasfilm okay. defines the skywalker okay. saga okay my bad um it's a weird like like specificity specificity specificity, specificity. <laughs> it's a weird specifics to be like doesn't matter what time period it is, as long as it's these three characters, it's Skywalker. Like that's where you get yeah super super. It's su- like specific. And yeah. specific. Can I yeah. say one thing I forgot to say? But on the Kenobi wrap up show, yeah. yeah, I'm so happy we didn't get these guys. We did get a reference to them though. A reference is all I need. We didn't because mention that because we got they Book of Boba Fett it out of these motherfuckers. Yeah. Like they didn't want to tell I Luke why they were hiding him, but they tell Luke that the the Sand People are out. Stalking that night or whatever. Yeah, they're like uh, they're pillaging, raiding, pillaging, raiding harder yeah. this night. So go hide. Well, they lied to Luke about like they were like it's the Tuscan Raiders. It's not yeah. some scary lady with a mm-hmm. lightsaber. Yep. 
Which did he ever see Reva's face? No, he was knocked out the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, he got knocked out. He just, when she tripped him and yeah. he fell. <laughs> well, I forgot yeah. to bring this up on the on the wrap up show too. But while we're while we're on the subject, does he ever see her lightsaber? On? No, 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 because he's he's like knocked out. That's a good detail then, because when he sees the lightsaber for the first, for the first time, yeah. he's supposed to be seeing it for the first time. Yeah. He sees yeah. Anakin's saber, and yeah, and, and Obi Wan's. Your father would have you to have the youngling slay a nine thousand yeah. when you were older. Did he though? Sure, probably, maybe. This is the t- era where they were lying to him about who his father was. So, yeah. you know, Obi Wan's not a he's a liar. But uh, back, <laughs> back to the so was Liam Neeson, by the way, fucking liar. But we all knew he I told was. you he was bullshit. Yeah, come on. I'm man. so happy he was in that. Yeah. You yes. have no idea. Uh, I want a I want a holog- I want a Force Ghost Black Series Qui Gon oh figure. Oh my gosh! And they have the Yoda and the, or they have Yoda and Obi Wan. Obi Wan right right behind you. I've got Yoda. So they, they just need oh, to give us all you of really? them. Oh, really? Fuck! I want they Yoda. need to give us all of them. So we need Luke and Leia too to get every Ghost, every Force Ghost. By the way, if you're listening to this, um, send us either an Instagram message or you can email us at Jedi Talk Podcast at gmail dot com and give us your ideas for top ten lists. Also, yeah. hit us up at Jedi Talk. Just that on Facebook. We need to get interaction on Facebook. Find us on Instagram. We're on LinkedIn, too. Reddit sometimes. Sometimes. When, when I remember to post There's there. There's too many things. YouTube. Those YouTube, Facebook, Instagram are the top three that you're going to find us Absolutely. on. So go interact with Tom's, us there. Go watch Tom's action figure video. It's oh, hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. I will give you guys a pre... <laughs> <laughs> what? Was there a little time scream in Obi-Wan Kenobi? Y- there was. Uh, we talked yeah. about it, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys a preview of what my uh, video was about here, and I'm trying to. Um, Man, I, we got one more thing to talk about with Cal and Jedi Survivor and stuff. So after that, we'll go back to. Yeah, I'm, go I'm ahead. I'm going to ask go you ahead. too. Go. Okay, go ahead. So obviously, we got Quinlan Voss name dropped in Kenobi, but yeah. I didn't even think about that this at the time. Off. But it's just a reference, right? It didn't pay off in yeah. Kenobi, but I don't care. But I'm saying it could pay off somewhere else because I didn't think about this at the time, but. You mentioned it earlier. Cal's force power is psychometry. Mm-hmm. Who else has psychometry? Obi Wan Kenobi. Quinlan Voss. Oh, he does too. Yeah. Okay. So who better to help Cal hone this power than Quinlan Voss? Here for whether in his live action show or in Survivor, who yeah. knows? But Quinlan would be perfect to team up with Cal. Okay, I, I would love that. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Why um, not? What, what time period do you want this to take place? You want it going forward? Do you want later? Before? I want it. I want it later. Like you want, want a, you want a time jump, like an yes. older cow? Yeah. So this is we're we're getting a five year time jump from Fallen Order to Survivor. Oh, did they say that? Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah, thousand percent. Yeah, that's why I thought he was here because it, it takes this, place the exact the game si- takes place same time during Kenobi. Yeah. Wow. Like you missed opportunity unless Obi Wan's in the game. If he's in the game, then I bet you fuck he's in yeah. the game. I bet you he shows up at fuck the end. Yeah. And if you could play house. him for a little bit, that would be sick. Woo, I'm ready because um, Fallen Order didn't let you play anybody else, right? You're only cow. Only. Uh, and BD one every now and you then. could play others. I th- no, it's, a, it's only Cal, right? Yeah, only Cal. Yeah, you get to be BD one for like no, side. Uh, quests. Are you Gerald to Paul at one point? No, no, you're nobody except Cal. I think and BD. Pretty sure. Yeah, you you fight Gerald to Paul a bunch. That, yeah. Okay, that's right. And you're and you're like force. But that would be the ne- that cool like next evolution for you're the not, game. You don't play as Gerald to Paul when he's walking down the hallway at one point. No, no you see it from Cal's perspective. You're, that's right. You're, you're going Cal through the. Away. You're going through yeah. like you're the going through order sixty six. You're yeah. you're Cal running away. Or it, uh, the way they set that up is brilliant. Uh, they have you walk through the halls as Cal, and all the clone troopers are saying, "Hey, Cal, what's yeah, up?" High fiving him and everything. They're like high fiving him. Oh my gosh! And they're like trying to kill him after that. It's fucking crazy. It's great. Great game. So yeah, so I'm excited. Give it to us, Snyder, Filoni, whatever. Just after Survivor, that's all I ask. And I want there to be a significant time jump. Give, give me a little older Cal. That'd yeah. be cool. Little, little more mature. Because Cameron is older than the character Cal, so Correct. it would be fine yeah. to get an older mm-hmm. Cal. I love it. That'd I'm here be for sick. It. Let's talk about summer vacation. Oh yeah. my god! Holy oh, shit! You're gonna show the preview, right? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I'll get so to that cue that up. But yeah. man. The Lego, I don't even know the title because I was just so overwhelmed. Lego like, Summer oh, Vacation. That's sure, Star Wars Summer sure. Vacation. That's I, all it is? I never heard of it until yesterday. and They talked about this at Celebration. My mouth, I screamed and cried. I don't even remember my like audible reactions, but the freaking Halcyon is in this. <laughs> Tom, mess- Tom freaking text- Halcyon. Tom texted me this morning and he goes, uh, Brad, did you see the... I was like, oh. This is I mean, it's not canon, but I don't I care. I know, but it's still going to be don't awesome. Care. I don't care. I love Because maybe Star this Wars means stuff. we'll get Lego sets of the Halcyon, and I will spend thousands of dollars on them. <laughs> you're d- oh, you're definitely going to get that now. Yeah. Now, this be- now it's like a show? Yeah. Absolutely. So you're before I get my thoughts on Summer Vacation, here's a preview of what you'll get in 
the action, the Tom talks action figure video, and and <laughs> I was wondering about them talking because Lightyear came out this weekend. Did, Evan Evan has saw it. We'll yes. get to that. We'll, we'll get, get to that, that in a second. We'll so I was like, what would happen? So this is kind of how it all ended, and I want you guys to watch to see how we got here. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yep. The best shot. That that is cinema. Cinema. Well, the build up is what I'm most happy about. Like I didn't know I'd done ten minutes worth of this <laughs> shit. <laughs> but when I like, saw how long it was. I was like ten minutes. Yep. Yeah. Wow. All yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Man. I know. A little, a little bold of me. <laughs> yeah. I thought at first to cut it down. No, I made an I'm Instagram glad you friendly I'm version. Glad you didn't. Um, actually, the, the full video is eleven minutes exactly. <laughs> I made an Instagram friendly <laughs> video, which is nine fifty eight. <laughs> Because Instagram won't let you upload anything, ten anything lower than 10. Yeah. That's weird. I love that. I, I hate it because they got rid of IGTV. That's stupid. Yeah. Because they want to well, try to take over TikTok, like TikTok, yeah. but they're yeah, not exactly. going to. It's dumb. Yeah. But man, summer vacation though. So <sighs> aside from the Halcyon, we get more Ben Solo content. Like, but they, obviously here for it. They show I, we got Luke's Lego Temple. Atrium. Like, yeah, we got Lego Atrium. Atrium. That was, that was the best the shot. And the Sublight Lounge. Yes. The Sublight yeah. Lounge and the freaking Atrium. And Obi-Wan oh, pops Halcyon. up. Yeah, yes. Obi-Wan is Finn, right? He's talking to there. The droids are there. Dude. I love Give it. Give me a Lego SK620. There and was then, a cast member on the Halcyon that has, they took a Lego R2. Oh, my God. And they, they did you see her? Lego Lieutenant Croy. Yes. Jesus ah. Christ. Yes. No, okay. So oh I've. Wait, I've, didn't, they showed, um, what's what's our dude? Wraith? Uh, Sandro? Wraith. Oh. Wait, Sandro? Did Wraith. they? I, I they need to watch Wraith. it again then. Wraith? They showed Wraith in this? Then, okay. Nope. Her, nope. Nope. I am confusing two things. I watched the Star Cruiser video today okay. about the marketing. Okay. Little, little okay. Self, self pat on the back here for me today. My Wraith followed me today on Instagram. Oh, so. nice. Look at you. As I always say, or I sometimes say, or I'm saying for the first time now, <laughs> you never know when you get to get a new Instagram follow. <laughs> Jedi Talk podcast will have to follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah follow We are a follower of uh, Lieutenant Croy. Of the Croy. Our favorite bartender, Labeth. Oh, yes. Um, but there, there was a house in... I told yeah. Delilah S. Dawson to uh, go find Labeth. Oh, no, my gosh. Did. Yeah. I wonder yeah. if she did. So there, it, there was a uh, Halcyon crew member who has Lego R2s that she made oh, man. into earrings and also painted them the SK620 paint wow. scheme. I saw her on my voyage, and she was amazing. So That's awesome. I'm hoping we can now get a real SK620 in Lego so speaking she doesn't of, have to paint them. Speaking of SK620, did you get his message in my video? No. I don't think. Oh, I did. I did. Yeah. 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 I'm funny. It's funny you went with him. Like, why not Kylo? That would have been. I don't have a Kylo figure. I noticed <laughs> that in the video. You don't, Taylor, have, you don't have a don't. TV Taylor and Kylo? I said that no. to me. She goes, That's wild. Taylor and I said that. We go, <laughs> there is only one shot of Ray and no Kylo. What's going on? I don't have Kylo. Yeah. I know. I have like yeah. six Kylos. I, I purposely left several characters out of this because yeah. I plan on doing this every month. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a series. It's, it's going to be a series. Add, add, add every yeah. month. That's Man. funny. Can you imagine the amount of voices in this room? Oh my god! Oh, I know. Yeah, you Brad and I can do it people together. people talking in this yeah, room. It would be so, wild, man. But okay, so we got Lego Halcyon and Atrium and Sublight Lounge. We got more Ben Solo. We they saw had, Luke's Temple. Yeah, Luke's Temple. Did they, you see that? that they showed a- at the very end a Lego Ronto wrap. Yes, I Come love right that so much. Come on! I was hoping they'd say it. She's like, "It's a snack." It's I'm a like, snack. "No, yeah, say that's what, what it I is. said." I'm like, "You had the chance to say it's a wrap. Right. What are you doing?" That's it's the only my, that's my only complaint though. That's this looks amazing. I'm here for I've it. I've never cared about these Lego specials, which is weird because I'm the Lego guy, but I'm more of a canon guy than Lego. But this, I'm I'm all in for this. The the terrifying tales one was good. Was it was. It, good. Or was that was that the Christmas one? No, that was no. the Halloween one. The Halloween one where with um, Vinay, on we, yeah, yeah, Castle. Yes. that lightsaber we fucking loved. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember the name of it, but yeah, that was good. They're all good. Yeah, and I'm not they're, I'm not a big canon, Lego. I love the humor. Good. From, yeah. from Lego. I, I, they really nailed That's that. why the game yes. is so good. The game yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and this is, cr- like, I hope one day we get to play on the Halcyon in the oh Skywalker saga, God. like a DLC. A DLC. Because Luke was on, or not Luke, but Leia I'm waiting for Han oh, on the Halcyon. A Kenobi nice. DLC. Oh, yes. man. There's a Mando one, so why not? They might uh, do not, it. Not yet. There's not yet. just characters. Playable, like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's playable characters. Uh, like, I was fucking be around with. a separate game. Maybe the Disney Plus. I was, I was running around. The Disney Bundle. I was Ooh. running around <laughs> Naboo with Cara Dune and Qui Gon. I just awesome. like didn't make any sense. What a great team! What a great yeah. team, man. But I, I mean, I already bought the ITS ship from Rise of the Resistance and Lego. That's the most specific That's Lego cool. set of all time, and yeah. I had to get it. So if they do a Halcyon Lego set, T-I-1 I don't care how much it is. I'm buying it. I don't care. Do you think we get a Han Solo and Andor? Yeah, 
I think yeah, this I think is so. perfect. Yeah, yeah, Sneaking Alden out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. He, well, he's yeah. already contra- contracted to do multiple things, yeah. and yeah. so they yeah, can pull well. that contract and be like, "You're contracted." They're still trying to figure out how we're doing Lando. They're, they said it's not dead. They're trying to figure it out. So like, I think they've figured it I'm out, and they don't want to announce anything yet. Yeah, That's I'm hoping guess. it's Childish Gambino. Uh, but oh, it's going to be. She said that she's waiting for Donald Glover's schedule to clear up. That's true. We talked about it when we read like six pages of Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, but yeah. Have, have, did you guys mention that she acknowledged the Ryan Johnson trilogy too? Yes, yeah. we okay. did. When that, yeah. okay, of course, I just make sure. Uh, yeah. Of course, we did. I, I, I'm wondering if that's going to be Cal now that I'm really, th- I'm really wondering. I'm really wondering. I don't know, man. So what? If Ryan Johnson's going to be doing a TV might. series, I would now, love instead. that. I would love it too. Yeah. You know, I would. He's in my bio. I love Ryan Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, what else? Um, Launch Bay. Launch, Launch base. base. It's back, baby. July 17th, the yes. day after we do something. And I had, yeah. uh, I told Brad. Holly's said, not going to be here. <gasps> what? Have an opening for she one? She has to go to her sister's Yo. engagement party. No. She's, she's, she used to do tours. Oh, so that's she, true. She's not like. Okay, so that's how many spots are open now? One. One, but I may be bringing a friend okay, in Holly's say, place. Austin's going to be here. So. If not, then we'll take Austin. Okay. She's going to she's gonna let me know if she can swing it. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got nobody Tracy. else here. So. Yeah, I love Tracy. You met Tracy. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. It's Tracy. I hope she, she can she's going to try to come. But I'm so, I'm so she, sad for she, Austin. This is like a, a bucket list thing for her. So I'm yeah, like, well, as soon as Holly said she's not going to be here, I was like, well, I'm going to ask her. I'm so sad. And if she doesn't, by all means, please bring Austin. Oh, yeah. But I'm sad for him because the day he leaves is, I think, the 16th or 17th. And Launch Bay comes back the 17th. Poor let guy. me know if <laughs> ah, that sucks. Let me know if either one of you want to do poly breakfast. I've got it for eight people, but just let me know. It'd be that's a good way to start the day as long as it doesn't interfere with our time. I don't know. No, it won't yeah. because it's at eight forty and they're picking us up at ten from the Grand Floridian. Oh, okay, that'd be easy. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. Yeah, let's do I'm it. I'm eating at the poly that, for breakfast in a couple weeks. I did like two weeks ago, but I'm I always love poly down for breakfast. Yeah. I do too. I'll I'm do not it. a big breakfast person. I would do it every my, day. Like, that's one of my places I love. Yeah. So yeah, launch bay. I want Vader. I want Boba there. I want. Well, they confirmed Vader, BB-8, and Chewie. Okay. Those are the so three. The original three. Right I'm gonna go back. see Vader yeah. immediately. Yeah. Which Chewie is like immediately. he's on Batu though. Why do we need Chewie twice? Oh, that's like, a good well, point. having a dedicate. I, I don't. I don't mind that having having him as a dedicate because it's very clearly not in universe. So you're just going yeah. to meet Chewie. I'm yeah. fine with it. Right. Because it gives people like the ones that would be the annoying ones a chance Trying to go to hug and him have, and take. Have you noticed them? Stalk him on Batu. Have they been using Chewie less on Batu to like kind of slightly? Yeah. Okay. I think it has something to do with the Halcyon because he's up there quite a bit. Yeah. True. So I bet you they're like, well, just so There's they don't run like, into him yeah. on Batu when the when the excursion's out. I think could we're be. I think we're getting Yeah, that could be that could be what it is. Yeah. But you know, he could easily come down on the ship the same yeah, way. Yeah, that's you did. true, that's yeah, he, true. He does bounce back and forth like three times oh, that's right. between the house him and Ray, because I, I yeah, saw them they leave do together. It a lot. I still don't know their full timeline because they go back and forth so much. It's wild. But yeah. everyone is back and roaming like the old days on Batu. I saw Kylo the other day. Oh really? And it's not just like walking by his yeah. stage to he his stage. He went. Story, he yeah. went all the way to the Falcon. Oh, I was that's like, awesome. dang! He's oh, back damn! Back. Yeah, he went all nice. the way to the Falcon. That's awesome. Does yeah. he get pissed when he sees the Falcon? Yeah, and he's just yelling at people like, "I don't care why they're there. I need to find Chewie or, or Hondo yeah. or whatever." Yeah, he's like yelling at everybody. Um, the last Kylo I saw though was like, he had platforms on, but he's basically my body, and I'm like, dude, you're too small. Like, no, <laughs> come on, I, I cannot be Kylo as yeah. much as I love him. No, Kyle Ren. Yeah. Yes. He's account. not Ben Swolo. He's Ben Smolo. <laughs> um, do so. So they've confirmed Vader. They've confirmed BB-8. BB-8 so the, just the original ones, right? Do you think there is any chance that these will start rotating anytime soon? Yes. So we can oh, get some absolutely. New stuff? Yes. Mm-hmm. Would Especially you rather the- have Boba Fett meet and greet at Launch Bay or have him walking around Batu? I want him if Infinite Shan. I want him walking around Batu. I think Batu. that'd be really cool. Yeah. As long as they don't go to the stupid rumors of no timeline, Batu is fine. I don't think it's a rumor, man. I, th- I think they have abandoned it because I don't know how they didn't think about this. Like your Star Wars can be whatever Disney makes Star Wars. Like it doesn't have to be between eight and nine. Yeah, like I don't. I've always thought it was cool that they were willing to do that, like double down on the sequel trilogy. But it is kind of silly. I got downvoted on Reddit because I I made a prediction that in like twenty years they're going to rebrand the Halcyon for the OG trilogy. They will. People like downvote. I, I agree. Why'd they downvote it. I, I no know they will. Idea. Like, that's I'm what like, they really? want. That's, that's what, what people want. That's what? want. what you noobs on Reddit want. And I want that too because <laughs> I've done it now and I'll do it two or three times between now and then. So then I'll go back for the original trilogy version. Have you guys like, seen that the Halcyon's making headlines again? It's not no. good. Is people it, are still but, bitching about it. But is it true? Yeah, is it the I panel thing good. that people are bitching about like they're doing like like 
panels asking yeah. people. Here's the thing. Because I got oh, an email. I did too. To it was to supposed that. to be today, and I never got Oh, it what? was supposed to be today? Today Shit. was the last day. You get a $175 gift card. I know. Yeah. They, after you respond, they say, we'll let you know the next steps going forward, and I never got the next steps going forward. I didn't Hold see it. Was put, it, I was all to yours. it was June 20th to June 30, 23rd was the window to do the next step, and it's passed. Tomorrow's 23rd, bro. Oh, true, but I'm, I'll be at work. Dude, so... Dude, if you can get on that, the only issue is the price. Yeah. Yeah. But I know. But th- that's what I, I'm going to say. I say it's worth it's too it. Much. Though, it's, like. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather it not be that much? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thousand I'd rather it be free, but it's not going to be free. Well, no. It can be half the price and still I'd be worth it. I'd rather them pay me it. to go, but they're not going to pay me to go. <laughs> I, 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 I get the, the... My thing is people are bitching about it who haven't been on it. Like yep. That's the thing that I've, annoys I've, the shit out of me. I don't, Radio and radio. I don't go hey, out of anyway. Any on, yeah, the, on the internet <laughs> to like comment, but I've done that for the Halcyon. I've been like, "You haven't been there? Okay, shut up." Like, it's not Star Wars. It is when you're there. Trust I'm, me. Like, you might not think it looks like Star Wars, which I don't get, but it definitely does in person. Yeah, I mean, I do. I don't, this, I don't get the whole. It doesn't look like Star Wars. I do Wars. this either. a lot with movies, but I like. I don't watch a movie, but I go, oh, "That movie sucks." But so I. But I'm. I'm talking to these people saying you haven't been there, so you can't say it sucks. So I'm guilty of doing it for movies, but. With this, you can't say it sucks, man. Like, well, here's the thing: like, it's only people who been. haven't gone that say it sucks. Yeah, and everyone who has gone has either not it. said anything or praised loves it. Loves it. I, have, yeah. have, you, have you seen any, truly anyone who went and didn't have a great time? No, no. I haven't seen a it single exist. negative review of anyone who's actually even Lieutenant gone. Curry loves it. Well, yeah, and he got kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just this whole this backlash thing is so strange to me. I, I think it's just from the marketing. Like the, their early marketing was so bad, and then the best one they've done has some lies in it which sucks I'm like that's not how that but it's, happens but I see people bitching this is not what you get I'm like it I, is what you get it's mm, the I saw it is it's there's just, not 20 stormtroopers they don't around. show 20 stormtroopers they, they show, show six like, yeah, that, you don't get six I, I know but you don't get Kylo on the floor by the hydro lifts and the hydro lifts turbo lifts turbo lifts I, I, is that I know. concept art no it's no, it visual it, they, show, the, they oh, filmed well, the scene yeah. of him on the floor of see, the atrium I avoided like, all nope. that shit it before. came out. Afterwards. It came out after. Did it? Okay. Well, yeah. Maybe just out of habit. <laughs> but like, yeah. it's it's truly what you get. I mean, like, you don't Mostly. open the box from the holocron. You don't take the holocron out. There's a little stuff like that. But like, yeah, the showing the experience and it's very close to what it is. And so I was, I was watching a video today about this guy who was just shitting all over it, and I was just like, "You haven't gone, man. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? You can't judge I've, something you haven't been on." I've been as far as being. I have been accused of being a Disney bot. Because I was really? defending it on one video. Be like, Jedi talk about yes, trust me, it's not a bot. I just, yeah. <laughs> I just said, you haven't been there, so don't judge it. And then they're like, oh, we found the Disney bot. And I was like, I'm just saying, I've been there and it was awesome. So don't say it sucks unless you go. And if you do go, I want to know why you don't like it. Yeah. You don't go, Disney sequel, bad. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like the uh, prequels, but if it was set in the prequels, I'd still have a good time. Yeah. Like, what are you they, talking and they about? can do that in four I don't years. like Cars, but Cars Land is the shit. Yeah. I love the MCU, and Avengers Campus is dog shit. Dog shit. So Dog bad. shit. You don't have to like the thing to enjoy to enjoy the themed environment it takes right. place. I in. don't like Harry I'll, Potter. Correct. At all, but I don't I, give a shit about Harry I Potter. Liked, it's awesome. I like the one the place with the dragon on the tower. I liked that. Diagon place. Alley. Yes, I like that, and I don't it's care cool. about Harry Potter at all. It's like, just it's so it's so simple minded. I, li- I love Hagrid's, and I don't like Harry Potter at all. So like, it's just odd to me that it's still like, this issue. It's like, well, if you don't like it, then don't fucking go. Yeah. It is weird that not a single voyage is sold out after September. <laughs> well. But it's just expensive. That's, yeah. that's the it's only summertime, thing. It's summertime, so people it, are going to use Life is expensive right now. So. That's part of the problem, yeah, too. Gas it's is like, five bucks a gallon, so what are you going to do? I get it. I get why people aren't booking it, but like, it's just it's just the price. If they would cut it in half, you'd see that thing fill up like that. Yeah. Because then you're not talking about much more difference than two days at a Disney And hotel. the thing is, it's already paid itself off. So like, yeah. you can drop the price now. I don't think they ever will, but I'm you can. I'm telling you, you're, you're going to start seeing... Uh, Events take place there, like lunch. Yep. And so I'm telling you, you're they got to do that. that. You're I can just be on Batu one day and then book a three hour trip. Take the transport run. shuttle up. I to will from do that. I'll do that once a month. Like that I'm not be, kidding. That would be dope. That'd be dope. Man, just cut do your paycheck directly to the Halcyon. I like wish I could. Two hundred bucks every <laughs> I time. I wish I could, man. I would Garnish your wages for the yeah, Halcyon. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, all right. I just I don't know if y'all had seen all that. That's like what they do with the CMs. They take the their pay for the rent out of their check automatically. I, I just oh, like, do they? Yeah, yeah. I, I just I don't get well, or the CPs. I said CMs, whatever. I don't yeah. get why there's this visceral hate towards this. Is it just jealousy. people are pissed they can't go? Yep, jealousy. Is it really that simple? Yeah, people are that simple. Franks and beans. What do you think there, it is? That's nah, you're right. What, do you think it's <laughs> that? Do you think it's just? 
You think they butchered the marketing that bad that people like no. after seeing it no. they just can't redeem no. it? No, it's just like, it just to me it just tells me they took a lot of money out of marketing and put it elsewhere. Just like Evan had famously said, true. he knows where the money was taken, but it was put to great use. Yeah. So I think that had something to do with it. They they rolled the dice a little bit and said, "Don't market it because this is Star Wars. People are going to flood come. to it. Yeah. Build it, they will come. If you Star Wars, they will come. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's it's so stupid to keep talking about, but it's just something that keeps popping back up, and I'm just like, if you haven't gone, shut your mouth. Yeah. What are you talking hey, about? I'm, I'm right there with you. Uh, all right, what's next? Uh, there was one more thing. The Bounty Hunter stream. The, yeah, there we go. On yeah. Batuu. I have one. They've shown. I haven't seen the full cycle. That that cycle of characters goes and goes. I've seen at least 15 different characters. But I haven't, one I haven't of them, looked too much into it yet today. One of them's name, I don't even remember what he looks like, but his name is Edmo Ektakli. But I love this because it says he's wanted for stealing Doc's gold-plated Ark, which explains why we don't have the Ark, <laughs> and Disneyland does have the Ark. I love. They that. have the Ark of the Covenant at Disneyland. That's funny. In Doc's, that and it's is not in our Doc's because this guy stole it. Oh, nice. so that's cool. That's gonna be your bounty: is find this guy that stole the Ark. So is this? It's all through the play app, right? Yeah. I saw that they have like you can kind of see the Magic Band Plus. Oh yeah. Like. It tells you that it like vibrates or something. Yeah, so it I'm has like four or five. Sorry, four or five panels that show the instructions. Yeah, like on the panel. When do we yeah. think Magic Band Plus is dropping? Any day now? I'm hoping like in July or August. My guess is gonna. I'm gonna say fall. I don't know. They're gonna wait so that long. Far. Yeah. So they're gonna have those the galaxies hedge up around that for four or five months. No, not, probably not. I hope not. I'm excited. I'm wearing my Magic Band Plus right now as we speak. Look it's at that. dead. Oh, I've never seen one until now. Oh, you haven't here? No, that's... Dang. Press the button on the back. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's cool. They used the whole... They showed a Life Day uh, magic band at the Disney Parks panel I went to at Celebration. Ooh, it gives a little vibration on yeah. there. Yeah. And uh, they used the whole Wars. design, which is one of my biggest complaints about magic band is like the whole gray part. You know, but that's not that's not there. They're utilizing the They've, whole band. It's different rubber on it. It's more flexible. Yeah, it's way more flexible. It looks more comfortable. I like it. Yeah. Fucking Disney emailing me about using Genie Service. Get the hell out of here. I know. Yeah, I'm not using. Something in this room it. will never get used by nope. all three of us never. until Kyle comes and can't get on Cosmic Rewind because he doesn't know how to use the app. I was I mean, trying then, to get a boarding group, but I by then I it'll be a, a waiting list and he, or not a waiting list. A queue, I was farting and, and he, he can wait six hours. Did you know that every time Kyle farts, he calls the fire department? Really? Yep. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Rancid, man. <laughs> That's about it. I mean, That's we it. we're recording kind of soon, like yeah. compared to what we normally do. Yeah. So it's but these are been enough. Days. These were these were good things to talk about. Yeah, for Heck sure. Yeah, the there most important uh, part was Kenobi. So make sure you yeah. listen to that episode several times. It's already released. Yeah. Yep, go check it out. The, uh, some of the celebration merch has made its way here. I've seen some of the. Kenobi inspired t shirts with that concept art looking That's on not them. celebration merch. That's well, just it came out Obi-Wan during Walker. celebration. Yeah, yeah. It's not it doesn't say celebration. I but know, yeah. Thank God. Um, I waited eight hours right? in line You'd for that be shirt. So, I, I would want. be mad for you. I don't want to uh, see it popping up other places. The Captain right. Rex that you bought for me oh, is yeah. here now. He's here and he's also at Disney yep. Springs. I yep, saw he's him. at oh, Springs. Cool. So much, I really so I wonder it. how many is left. It says thou- uh, 1,000 were made. Yeah. So how many are left? I Dude, I think here it's just... I don't think he's going to go. It's not a thing. Yeah, It's, it's yeah. not a thing here like it is at Disneyland. Yeah, Like at Disneyland, like everyone knows DJ or Captain Rex. Yeah, yeah. the lucky APs who can get a Magic Key reservation are going to buy it up. Yeah. But uh, I, th- I think he's going to be around for a while, which I hope, because I'm going to be bummed if I don't get one of those. You I should have just bought one. Oh, yeah, dude, we, I, can, I we can make it happen. I want one. I want one really, really badly. I, I wish I'd have grabbed him at Celebration, but I just, it was other stuff to be had True. at Celebration. True. We, we, uh, we should let the listeners know in a tease for one of our shows next week, but we're bringing top 10 lists back. Yeah. We are. And our first one's going to be a pretty good one, our top 10 least favorite. Yeah, Star Wars characters. Man, that's hard. This so, is going to be fun. You know yeah. the one that I told yeah. you I want to do, and yes. I gave, I want to wait until it either fails or it doesn't. Okay, okay. for that, that one, that's fine. Okay, because it'll be topical. More to come, yeah. but yeah. find us on social media at Jedi Talk Post, Podcast, Instagram. DM us. Let us know what top ten you yeah. want to hear. Slide tens. in those DMs. Slide in those DMs. Slide and, uh, right in there. We'd love to see what you want to what you want to hear as far as top ten goes. We probably won't care because uh, we don't care what you say. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? That's what I, I would know. say. Right? Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I am what you than, made me. I am what you made me. <laughs> shorter <laughs> show than normal, but that's totally fine. It means I could go hey. watch more of Barry and go get some sleep because I haven't gone to sleep yet. Today. It's not about the length of the show. Okay? It's about the quality. Yeah. Quality of That's what we bring you. We're quality bring you stuff. Good shit. Yeah. All right, fellas, that's well, it. We never talk Lightyear. Oh. I don't know if you Oh, know Lightyear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about Lightyear. Go for it. You're the only one that's seen it. I thought you saw it. You haven't seen it? No, I've seen it. Oh, dang. Okay. It's 
it's probably seventy yeah. percent good, but that last thirty percent is like ah, all right, like you just Pixar'd this, didn't you? And I mean that like the the worst way. They went the twist with Zerg, who's an amazing villain, one of my favorite villains. He's my favorite Pixar villain. Is he really his father? I wish. They didn't do that. No, he is Buzz. He is Buzz. It's time travel Buzz. So, so have you seen Lost in Space from two thousand something? Yeah, it's that. Where like Doctor Smith is like future evil Doctor. Is Smith this Pixar's whatever. Interstellar? I haven't seen Interstellar. That's so. a joke, right? Oh, inter- I love Interstellar. I never saw it. I don't oh, know. it's a good but movie. So I every, want to so, it's one of those ones. So, ba- so Buzz is testing this new like hyperspace, like, light speed technology, basically. And every time he goes out and it fails, he ages like four minutes, but he comes back four years later because his time travel. That's whatever. Interstellar. Yeah. Okay. That's so a yeah, thousand but, percent. But he does it like like thirty times. So he he has lost like a hundred plus years of his life doing this thing. Man, I need to rewatch that movie now that you mention it because like so, that's so heart pulling. So there's like somehow when, when he sees his daughter all growing up, and it's only been like ten minutes oh, in his see, time. Like, Buzz doesn't have any family. Not like members, that, but so like a couple hours. Emotional. Fuck. So that would be Go more. On, sorry, I'm just no, no, no. You're fine. Like, but then eventually, I still don't know how it works. But eventually, there's Zerg is chasing Buzz, and it's like, why does this robot want Buzz so bad? And it turns out because this robot is just a suit for the old Buzz from the future, and he wants to stop what young Buzz is doing for some reason. I don't. I don't know. So huh. until until the, the does it not explain it what? does but it's just like my plan is better than your plan young Buzz you should do my plan it's like well to be fair what? you have the perspective of being older yeah maybe Zerg's right but, well he's not Zerg <laughs> he's Buzz but maybe Buzz Zerg's right if this was a different character <laughs> if they didn't do Zerg if it was just it's I mean Buzz, wh- who, who, who would you rather listen to ten year old you. Or 30-year-old you? 30-year-old me. 30-year-old me. 30-year-old me had more money than 10-year-old me. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wish it was either do this story, but just say it's Buzz versus Buzz, instead of this, quote, plot twist of, oh, this awesome villain is just some guy in a robot suit. See, I, feel, I feel like they could pull that off if they do it right. Exactly. That, sounds, that sounds like a good it's twist. Just don't have it. No, it's been done a lot. But just don't oh, have know, it be Zerg. Like like it could just be a different alien that he's fighting, and then it turns out the alien is him. It doesn't have to be Zerg. So now, like, any time going forward, Zerg is not going to be... The evil Emperor Zerg. It's going to be a guy in a robot suit. It's like, hmm. That's kind of lame. Okay. Do they explain but, what you're watching? That you're yes, in the Toy I love, Story I universe? Love that that might have been the best part. Before the movie even starts, the first screen is like, in 1995, Andy watched a movie that... May, or Andy watched his favorite movie, and then he went, he went and bought the action figure from his favorite movie. This is that movie. And I'm like, okay. Interesting. Cool. And I'm like, I could totally see that. If I saw this as a kid, yeah, like I would have went. That's what I did with Jurassic Buzz. Park. <laughs> went and bought all those motherfucking oh, yeah. dinosaurs. I, my toys yeah. were Toy Story toys. Yeah, like, I have the original Buzz and original Woody. I do. I have like, Bradley written on his foot. I, yep, I wrote Evan on the foot. Yeah. yeah, Austin's bringing me Buzz in two weeks when he comes from nice. Indiana. So, but, and Zerg was my favorite villain. But after that, I'm like, mm, ouch. <sighs> Zerg's, a, Zerg's a weird villain because he's not really a villain. He's he like, is in that cartoon that Disney won't acknowledge. Yeah, what is that about? I don't know. But did I you will ever say, watch the Buzz Lightyear Star Command? It was great. Um, I, have the I VHS know of it. I do too at home. Yeah, I <sighs> saw it. I saw it when I was at home. I meant to bring it. And I totally forgot. I sh- he should bring that. I should tell him to bring that. Patrick, what's his Patrick, Patrick Warburton. Warburton. Warburton? Well, Tim Warburton, Allen voiced yeah. him in the movie, but then Patrick Warburton voiced him in the TV series. Yeah. Yes. So mm-hmm. yeah, but the series was just as good as the movie. Like holy cow! How do you feel, Chris Evans did? He just disappeared right into it. I just saw Buzz the whole okay, time. Okay, that's I'm good. Like, that's I'm cool. like, you're doing that's good, good, man. You're killing it. He did great. Like the, the whole everything with Buzz was great. The the little robot cat socks was awesome. He was the only time that anyone laughed. <laughs> like your your boy Taika Waititi was in it. Waititi? Oh, I just called him Waititi. Oh, that's Taika right. Taika Waititi. He was in was it. Was he terrible in it? His not even I laughed at him. He was really? like, uh, it looks just like Taika. They yeah. just animated Taika. Mm-hmm. So not even I laughed at Taika. But socks God, stole the movie. He was the highlight. Movie. Buzz was the second best. Please don't but Buzz was great. Star Wars movie. Please don't. But please. Please. God. I'm going to watch it when it drops on Disney+. Plus. I think I'm... That's the better route. Yeah. I'm glad I saw it. It's good, but I wish I just didn't spend 25 bucks to see it. I'll take my kids on like a $5 Tuesday to go see it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah that's uh, that's smart. That, like I'm not... They set interested. it up that there could be a sequel, but I'm hoping there's not. Because like... It's not doing well. It's not well, doing well. The way, Jurassic the way, World beat it. And then this was Jurassic oh, World's second weekend. That's, that's crazy. not good. Yeah. yeah. So, is it super woke like I'm hearing? No. No, no. It's just there's like one character that lasts for like so. ten minutes, because it's in Buzz's time travel loop where he's watching this character age because he's not aging, and he sees this character go from like twenty five year old space ranger to like leader to whatever, and then it's like one day she's like, oh, I got engaged, and Buzz is like, oh, that's nice, and then 
the character's like, oh yeah, she's really sweet and nice, because and the character's a woman too. That's all people are complaining N- about. No, because eventually no, you see kiss, the character right? and yeah. they yeah, but in the background just like you. Know, I didn't even like notice it. I saw it in my peripheral. She kisses her girl or her, her <laughs> wife at that time, and then like Buzz leaves again. Four years pass. More times pass. He comes back. One of the two women are pregnant. It's like okay. If we have any fine. Chinese like, listeners, this is the real version, by the way. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this is the canon version. But yeah, like it's just a character that lasts. I love to think there's some Chinese dude listening to this podcast. Like that'd be awesome. Pirate Screw radio you. type. Hell yeah. Like, Fuck the CCP. Yeah, but oh, like man. it's she lasts like 15 minutes and Stay she, her. She's just a human. Like it's not. She is the token gay human. It's she's just a character, just a human. But like, and it's fine. why is everyone like, complaining? Like I. I don't. She's I guess token you, gay, like, but no, I, mean, I don't know if that's not. what they're saying or not. I'm saying she's no. not. I don't know if that's what they're saying. Because token gay, I think, like the stereotypes, like flamboyant. And oh no, she wasn't that at all. Yeah, yeah. She or wasn't. for for women, like tomboyish. Yeah, yeah, butch. Yeah. I mean, she was wearing a space ranger suit, but all right. of but them. But she's were. a space so, like, ranger. Yeah, so, like, yeah, it's not like she was walking up. around saying in flannel. Like, I love football, and like she wasn't like, come on. I really do. My partner Denise, right? And she she didn't have a deep. She wasn't. Yeah, she didn't have a deep voice or anything. Like. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, I, that was well done. That was good too. I liked how they did that. It's just the the Zerg thing is what kind of sucked for me. Yeah, other than that, I have though, to it was see it. Like I'll watch it and be like, yeah. if well, it it's feels not right. A, it's not a twist because like you know it's not going to be the real Zerg. The twist is it's Buzz, but you're like, ah, okay. It's not hmm. life shattering. It's like okay. That's it reminded me a lot of the Up twist where the other old guy was like, oh, I'm I'm evil now. Oh God, I hated that. And I did too. And I was like, oh, this is Up. Okay. Mm. Right. So the first, well, up is shorter. It has ten minutes. That's good, and the rest is not great. I agree with you. I do not but like that movie. Buzz is seventy percent good, and then thirty percent. People forget that movie is not about Carl and, and Ellie. And Ellie. No, Ellie like, dies in. Five it's the minutes. first fifteen minutes of the movie. Yeah, and then it's just bad. And then it's Carl m- climbing monkey bars five yeah, million feet up in the air. I, I don't somehow. like that movie. Yeah, it should, it should it should have been a short. Yeah, yeah, but um, I think. Lightyear can still tie into that animated sh- series if Disney ever acknowledges it. I think it still can line up fine. So I hope one day they can say it's they say it's all one thing. And Andy watched this series as a kid too, and whatever. Was was Star Command like a his series like his actual like Buzz Lightyear's TV show that Andy watched? Is that um, what? Star yeah, he Command watched. Was? Well, we don't know. We all oh, we know okay. is Andy watched this movie. Okay. And I'm saying if Disney ever brings back that TV series, they could just say this was a TV yeah, series from I'm, this movie that I'm Andy part, watched. I'm partly wondering if it's going to be a Disney Plus original series. Like if they're so. going to reboot it. I'm that's wondering if that's why they're been. not. They should have just done a Buzz series like on animated. Disney Plus that Andy watched. Well, so I, I was back to that not doing well. Like I, I had heard it was like super over the top woke. It's and, not. But not to be all. fair, like if that's the only thing, like what are you complaining about? Right. Like don't don't. Bitch, it's, like just people it's, just bitch about the it's, dumbest shit. It's the clickbait outrage that, that yeah. like these media outlets drive to get, the, get to get simple minded people riled up. That's all this is. Because yeah, like wrong. I've I've watched so much media and it's just like oh hey characters gay like you don't even think about it. Yeah. You just it's natural. Now, it's, if it was like I remember people bitching about the one who rides Skywalker and I'm like I didn't even well, notice I it know. the first two no, times I saw I the movie. I didn't either. And also it doesn't matter. It's bigger than that. But like it's not like Buzz walking around kissing every man he sees. Like that—that that I would call woke, but like, it's not that. It's I like how they did it. It's fine. It's fine. I don't get why. You, but. Like, the thing is, like, you gotta protect the kids, and it's like, it's it, it, you live in twenty twenty two. You have to have the conversation with the kids about it, it at some point. It doesn't ruin their. Soil and no kid kids, is gonna like, see that and be like, <gasps> like I guess. Well, I guess that's not true. If you're like super religious, like I was growing up, my parents probably would have been pissed. To be honest yeah. with you. No, if you're super religious, I don't think they're taking you to see that movie. But that's the thing. It's like Possibly, one little yeah. thing is going to ruin that. Yep. Like I don't understand for that s- mentality. Yeah. For, like that is just so stupid. It's just like I spent a lot of time with my Pentecostal family this past trip, and it was just yeah. like mm-hmm. I don't think they would give a shit. Repent, Bradley. Oh, dude, you don't don't even get me fucking. There started. was an, there was a lot of lines where it's a hundred percent fan service, but I think I think it worked. But it was like lines from the first Toy Story that Buzz was saying when he would be saying like. But that makes sense if they're basing an action figure off of a movie, right? Because like that's, that's what this comes from. The yeah. Buzz action figure in Toy Story is from this movie that Andy watched. Yeah. So like the action figure would act just like this character because he thinks he's that character. Yeah. So that's why I think it works. But he would be walking around and like you know when Buzz is like trying to call Star Command, he's like, "Why won't they answer?" Buzz says that he goes, "Why won't they answer?" And it's like he does it, and Chris Evans sounds just like it and pulls it off. I love it now. I think the Zerg twist still would have been a little lame, but it would have been cool if old Buzz from the future was voiced by Tim Allen. Like that would have been like that would have been. I don't cool. like this twist. That, w- that would have been okay. a fun twist. I would have been, been like, been, yeah, it probably would have made it. But it okay was, um, for me. <laughs> it, it wasn't Josh. It was James Brolin. James Brolin. 
Not Josh, Josh Brolin. Brolin? Not Thanos, but another Brolin. James okay. Brolin? James Brolin. And I, I, yeah, I was like, all right, I can hear you. But like, it would have been cool if it was Tim Allen. I would have been like, lame been cool. twist, but I'm okay. That would have been cool. But it wasn't. So I'm like, eh. All right. Man. Good episode, guys. Yeah. Anything else anybody wants to bring up around? No. They should also do just a Woody's Roundup series on Disney+. Oh, Plus. for sure. Can we open the it's restaurant right first? Like, Dude, what is <laughs> up with this restaurant? It's yeah. been At least they made mention of it not a couple months ago. I think yeah. we're going to get an opening date at the D23 thing in September, and yeah. if it's not open already by then. What's funny, too, is or they're, not, they're finally expanding through. the kitchen and like backstage area for Woody's lunchbox. So it's like... Oh, jeez. You're building a second restaurant they finally, are? but now you're making Woody's lunchbox bigger. So they are? Like, they're making Woody's lunchbox bigger? Yeah. So it's like, why didn't you do that is from that day one? Is that public information that you want... No, there? it is. Yeah, you okay. can see the construction. You can see that. I've seen I it actually, walking by. I think I've seen it. Yeah. I've never, I hadn't noticed it at yeah. all. You can see it walking by. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good show, guys. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for listening to this episode. We will see you on the next show. Until then, stay safe and may the force be with you. Always in good journey. Rise, Jedi Knight. <laughs> do the misogyny horn again. <laughs>